Father, we thank you. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. May your name be exalted. May your name be glorified. Lord, as we get into your word, Lord, we pray in Jesus' mighty name that may your mighty power, may your mighty anointing be seen. Thank you, mighty God, for your transforming grace. Thank you, mighty God, for touching and transforming lives in the name and the blood of Jesus. Father, we decree, mighty God, we decree, mighty Father, that as we get into your word, may lives be transformed in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that may you come to a place where you touch somebody's destiny. May you come to a place where you reveal somebody's future. And may you come to a place where we are edified in the name and in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, everybody. I believe you are excited. And um, I know we are not really going to spend much time right today, but we are going to get into the word as you saw as we began. We spoke on a very much important issue that we were dealing with. I want you to rush to the book of Romans chapter number 8. I want you to rush to the book of Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. Praise God. Praise God. I will read verse 19, then we will go back. Verse 19. The Bible says, For the whole creation, all nations, awaited eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. The whole creation, the whole nations, waited eagerly for the creation to be revealed. One of the things that you have to understand as a child of God is that this world is actually waiting for people that are called the sons of God to be revealed. This, wait is, this world is waiting for people that are believers, people that are called sons of God, that they may come to a place where they show, showcase themselves and show themselves into this world. You have to understand and you have to know that you are not born or you are not on this earth by accident or by mistake. The day you got to God born again, you were born into, you were born to become a new creation. You were born to become a new nature. The day you got to become born again, you were brought into the kingdom of God. The Bible says that Jesus delivered us from the God, delivered us from the kingdom of darkness, and he put us in the kingdom of his dear son. You have to understand and you have to know the dynamics in which believers or in which children of God operate in. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You have to know the dynamics and the way in which children of God operate from. From the scripture where we read, Apostle Paul is speaking to the believers or Apostle Paul is speaking to the Romans and he begins to explain something to the Romans. The Bible says, says the annex expectation of the creation is the manifestation of the sons of God. When the sons of God are manifested, when the sons of God are revealed, when the sons of God come to a place that they are brought forth, it is a dimension. Praise God. Praise God. It is a dimension whereby you are now operating in the authority or you are now operating in a place where you are representing God. That is why when you read your Bible in Romans chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says to them that received him, he gave them the power to become the sons of God, to become the children of God. When we came to a place where we believed in God, there is a power, there is an authority that was given to us. Us, there is a power, there is an authority that was given to us by God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So to them that received him, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. 
The biggest problem is having believers. The biggest problem is having people that are not operating or that do not understand their domain and their authority as a believer. We have a lot of people that proclaim that they are children of God. We have a lot of people that proclaim that they are believers. We have a lot of people that received Christ, but we have few people that understand how they should operate in Christ. Am I talking to somebody here? I said, am I talking to somebody here? To an extent that I believe when God sees from heaven, there is something that acts in his spirit. When God sees from heaven, there is a cry in his spirit, looking at the sons of men. Instead of operating in their authority as believers and his sons, they are operating as slaves. There is something that acts God, looking at believers who act little than heathens. I love it when the Bible speaks and tells me of men like John. When you read your Bible in Matthew 11 verse 12, the Bible declares something about John. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence shall take it by force. What the Bible is revealing is that when John came to a place where he survived in this dimension of the, of, of, of the fleshly man, he, he, he operated and he broke a certain barrier that he set a course in the realm of the spirit. He set a dispensation in the realm of the spirit. Hear me. I want you to understand. When you continuously hear Apostle Paul speaking about the dispensation, dispensations are generated, dispensations are brought forth or birthed by men. Many people talk about revival. They do not understand that when Paul spoke in Romans 8 verse 19 to say that world is endlessly waiting for the manifestation of the sons, what he was talking about. The world is already in bondage. The world is already in corruption. Do you know that when people talk about revival, they do not know what they are talking about? Do you know that when people talk about prayer, they do not know what they are talking about? That is why when we talk about revival, people are thinking about people being slain under the power. Somebody shouting, take it, and people rolling on the ground. When we talk about revival, we are talking about a revival of a situation that was once okay and the enemy destroyed it. We are reviving something back to Israel original place. So many people talk about God. And one of the things that I've seen when we talk about the Holy Spirit in our generation, everybody's talking about casting out devils. Everybody's talking about coming to a place where I can prophesy. And the Holy Spirit has been limited only to prophesy. The Holy Spirit has been limited only to speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit has been limited only for people to say, Re ba 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 ba, re tama bota, antama bota. But there is something more about the Spirit of God. There is something grieving from the Spirit of God when people talk about revival because they do not understand what they are talking about. When we talk about revival, we are talking about a time when Adam was still in a dimension where he was on this earth sent by God, where Adam was operating in glory. And the Bible tells us at a time that even God said to Adam, I want you to name the animals, animals that were already named. God wanted to see, can Adam operate from my dimension? Can he name a lion, a lion taken from my mind where he's operating in glory? The Bible tells us that after he ate the fruit, he looked at the wife and said, we are naked. God was trying to say, Adam, do you know there is a dimension in which you are in? When you operate in this dimension, there are fleshly things that you can't see because you're operating from a dimension that when, where dimension where Adam was operating from is the dimension that happened when the children of Israel get to be at the Red Sea. The Bible declares that when they came to be on the Red Sea. They were seeing an obstacle, but God was seeing a way. Am I talking to somebody here? I said, am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. The children of Israel, the Bible declares that while they were walking and growing in the desert, their clothes grew with them. Such a dimension where they did not have to buy new clothes, but their clothes were expanding as they grew. Such a dimension that their shoes were expanding as they grew. 
and you hear somebody talk about revival, and when they talk about revival, they are talking about opening the eyes of the blind. Where is the generation that shall operate in the sonship dimension? When you say believers, talk about testimonies. They are talking about buying cars. Those are not testimonies. When you hear believers talking about testimonies, they are talking about buying houses. Before Jesus came, people were marrying. People were buying cars. People were buying houses. If the gospel that we have as a generation is about cars and houses, people like Elon Musk can never come to a place where they can pray because they have everything that they need. If the gospel that we have, if all we have as a generation and as a church is receive your car, we can never come to a place where we can convince even those in power to come to a place where they can repent because that is all we have. We, we all get to a place where we talk about the anointing. We are talking about coming, we are talking about, we, we are talking about people talking about the blind. Hear me. If witches are to gather here, they will not need a car to drive. They would appear. But you have never heard any of the witches celebrate a testimony that I disappeared and appeared. We have a generation that has limited God. We have a generation that has took God and they've put him in a box. Well, when you talk about faith, all that people are talking about is I'm believing God in something. There is something more. I said there is something more. There is something more. Where are men? Where are people? People like Abraham who made an echo and an impact in the spirit. That even if he's dead, people are still being called children of Abraham. A realm where in the spirit and in the heavens, there are blessings that are called the blessings of Abraham. Men who are sent into the spirit unlock dimensions that have not been unlocked and they are attributed in their names. And we have people that are fighting about members. We have people that are fighting about who prays more hours, who prays less hours. We have people that are fighting about who prays fire prayers and who prays meditation prayers. While people are still fighting, we have men like Moses who sought God and fasted 40 days three times. He went into the mountain and fasted 40 days. And the Bible declares that when he fasted 40 days, he came back out of the mountain. And when he came back out of the mountain, the Bible says he broke down, he broke down the, 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 the testaments, or he broke down the law. And the Bible says God told him, come back. Another 40 days. Another 40 days. 80 days. The man was in the mountain. The man was in the mountains three months and nights. The man was fasting. When God came to, when God came, he said to Aaron and Miriam, to your prophets, I speak to them in visions and in dreams. But to Moses, not a prophet, there is an office called Moses that even when he died, his body had to be buried and hidden by angels. Because even Satan in the book of Jude, the Bible says Satan contended with angel Michael, wanting the body of Moses. Men who ascended to the celestial got hold and glimpse of the glory of God. Men who could stand and speak to God face to face. And there we are, we are crying, who is more accurate? And what we are talking about is not prophecy. We cannot be differentiated from Sangomas because we are operating the same line of divination. We, we, we have a generation of prophets and apostles who know how to prophesy people. Yet we have diseases that are coming into nations they can't see or solve. We have, we have calamities that are coming into nations they can't see and solve. Yet everybody's competing of how we are accurate. Everybody's competing how they can quote scripture. Yet we have women who we have we had women like Elizabeth. 
who came to a place where she gave an offering, broken alabaster bottle on the feet of Jesus. And Jesus says that everywhere where the gospel shall be preached, this woman shall be mentioned. She ascended to a realm that through an offering, she got into a dimension that even heaven put a mark on her. Put a mark on her. Put a mark on her. We have men like Elijah, men who prayed in the mountain until the Bible says that his clothes became green because he was always in the grass. That by the time when God was about to call him, God said, I'm about to take you to heaven. Elijah went with his body. Oh, he went into heaven. He ascended by a whirlwind. That even Jesus came. Elijah and Moses came, not dead, alive. Peter saw it. James saw it. John saw it. They came. Say, we are coming to fulfill. We have a generation of people that are talking about a God they do not know. And I believe when Paul is seated in the heavens, he is crying and saying, God, I wish I had come to preach in such a generation. I believe if men like James, men that were killed in China, would come, men that were tied on a horse and the horse was running, while least they were being, they were being, they were being swept from the back, they say such a generation. All they know is to call for an offering. All they know is to, is to sleep out with girls. All they know is to live like devils and try to preach like they are holy. Amen. And God is looking. People are talking about revival. People are talking about how God is moving. Are you telling me that the, what you call God is moving is, is, is a blind eye opening? When the disciples of Jesus came to a place where they cast out devils, they did not come, they did not come with a revelation. When they came to Jesus, Jesus, they did not come and say, come and see, come and see, we, you send us to preach, we came back with honorarium. What is honorarium without honor? They did not come and say, I preached and I was given a bench. That was not the testimony. Even demons submitted to our voices. And Jesus says, even that, don't rejoice. Your rejoicing must be that your names are hidden, are written in the book of life. If the gospel, the only gospel we have as a generation is receive your car, then whatever we are doing is not from God. I apologize to everybody who might be offended. Whatever we are doing is not from God, it's from the devil. Amen. We have brought people to an appetite where when they don't get a car, they feel as if God is not moving. Men like Elijah, I believe they would not survive in such a generation. Men who moved with power. The Bible tells us of how Elijah would disappear. They, all, they, they now knew that Elijah would appear and disappear. They knew. If Philip would come now, he would cry. Philip was not an apostle. Philip was not a pastor. Philip was not an evangelist. He was a deacon, but he would appear and disappear. Am I communicating to somebody? Yeah. And you have people that are holding titles that have no evidence until a bishop becomes a bookshop, until a pastor becomes a poster. Until a prophet becomes a pro, a prophet becomes a prophet. Nothing of God to be seen. There is no power at all. Demons are not afraid. They can, they, 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 we, are, we are not just talking about sitting with demons. They can sleep with a Jezebel and still stand on the altar and shout fire. What fire are you talking about? What fire are you talking about? Many people. If God would speak to the generals of our time, they would tell them, tell this generation that the direction they are going is killing the next generations to come. Tell this generation that whatever they are pursuing is not where my heart is. It's not where my heart is. When Jesus spoke to them, he said, seek the kingdom and his righteousness. The kingdom meaning the king and the domain. Seek the culture of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. But rather, rather more, we are now validating how a person is established in the kingdom by the things that are added. Yes. 
and the devil has blessed people to bind them. That you have a big car does not mean God is with you. That you have a big stomach does not mean that you are blessed. What God is crying is that I need a generation of people that understand the moves of the spirit, and that understand the systems of God, and that understand how I wave the waves of the spirit. People were filled with the spirit of God. And the Bible tells us that people like Peter, people like Peter were filled. The first crusade, 5,000 people gave their lives to Christ. But with people that are having crusades that cost millions, no one so is coming to Christ. Conference after conference, instead of evangelism, we have recycled the same people. Jesus. And everybody saying, I'm gathering. What are you gathering when the world and the only people that are born again in the world are 33%? What are you gathering? What are you gathering? You can brag to become a believer, but is God bragging about you? There are things that I believe as the church we need to go back to the place of prayer. There are things that I believe as the church we need to go back to the place of seeking God and ask God, is this the way? And ask God, is this the, is this, is this the type of believing that we are called to believe? Otherwise, the next generation is in trouble. The next generation is in trouble. They will be worshipping a God they do not know. Paul arrived at a place and he saw an altar that was prescribed to the God of the unknown. That is where we are going and that is where our grandchildren are going. Where they do not have even a testimony. Because their fathers and grandfathers, they don't have a testimony to speak. At least the children of Israel could speak to say the God of our father delivered us from Israel. What will your children speak about you? There is no testimony at all. A person who does not know how to get into prayer for an hour. Imagine since they were given birth to, they've never come to a place where they've tarried for time. They've never come to a place where they've tarried for hours. And I believe God is asking themselves, why is my spirit striving with men? Because it seems as if there is no profit of why some people are created. There's no profit of why some people are created. We have to, we do, the generation that we have does not know anything about intercession. The generation that we have, when they talk about intercession, they are talking about holding a mic on Sunday and leading a prayer. My father, my father, every enemy fighting against me die by fire. That is what they know about intercession. My father, my father, may your power move. We no longer have people, people like Elijah, who would stand in the gap of a nation praying, putting his head on his knees, under his thighs. Go and see if rain is coming. Gaz said there is no rain. He gets back into prayer. What? What's happening, girls? There is nothing. It is well. Rayana na ha. Legere kalaka tomanzo. Oso kopana kai. Abrekatana. What's happening? Nothing, my master. Elakatele na. Eleke deke lakatuna. Ayen ton kalatai. Eleke deke lakatumane. Abre. What's happening there? Nothing. It is well. Zogodom balai. Agadeko balanto yai. Izum malakatana ma. Alemeneke la manakata. Eleke deke lakata. Aliki. Diki diki bon talabada in Rakadaka. What's happening? There is nothing. Six times. All right. Agada. Egada. Rakadakaya. Agada. 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 What's happening? There is just a small son. He's not praying for himself. He's praying for reign of a nation and he's spending hours. But we have people that not even praying about people, they can't pray about their lives. That is why we have people that their destinies are dead, yet they are still alive. We have people that are living, but heaven is saying no. Saul was anointed by God to become a king. He ruled for three years and God took his anointing and replaced with the demon. He ruled for the next 37 years. When heaven would look down on Israel, 
it was saying there was no king. But in Israel, they were saying they have a king. May you never come to a day when heaven will look down and say your seat is empty. Amen. Amen. It is not about how much you can be vocal. It is not about how much you can be a prolific orator. It is not about how much you can be an intellectual scholar. It is not about how much you can become a person who speaks and when they speak, angels can walk. It's about do you really know where you stand, who you are, and what you stand for? There is a generation God is rising. Now people can no longer preach if they have no mic. Yet we have Jesus who has preached to 5,000 without a mic. We have a generation that they prepare special messages for certain conferences. Yet we have Paul who would preach day and night. Preach for one hour, two hours, three hours. The Baptist he preached for six hours. Utica slept on the balcony, fell down. Paul went, resurrected Utica from the dead. Went back to preaching for the whole night. They did not stop and say, are you not seeing the miracle? Let's celebrate. After the miracle, our goal is not the miracle. Filled with the church, what, when you see their adverts, when you see their poster, it is filled with miracles, signs, and wonders. Hear me, those are confirmations of the word. If the word is put in front, the Bible says when Jesus is lifted, he will draw men unto him. Yes. A generation, when you see right now by percentage, it's only around 33% that are worshiping God. And somebody looks at it, you are very proud in as much as you are preaching, while Jesus is looking, he's saying, did I die for this? Was I crucified for this? Crucified in front of his mother. For somebody to come and stand on a Sunday and preach a message of receive your car. Crucified while his mother is watching. For somebody to come and stand on a Sunday and keep on repeating, we are coming out of Egypt, we are going to Israel. When are we going to go to that Canaan? Believers that have no backbone at a single problem, they are back into the world. Why? Because we have believers, we have preachers that have no backbone. When evidence is shown, people cannot be shaken. Doesn't it hit your heart to look at the generation and see that whatever we are celebrating is not the standard of God? It's not the standard of God. If you ask certain people, when last did they read their Bible, you will be surprised. Conference after conference, no transformation. No transformation. We, we, we are busy organizing world conferences, but still people are poor. Why? Because there is something we are missing and there is something we are lacking. Amen. When presidents look, they laugh. Is this the place I can go to worship? That's why you see them, they are religious to an extent. They go to those places where they just sit. They, they, they do a mass and they come out because they've not seen relevance. Where are people like Joseph? Men who would be, recog be recognized in a nation. Oh, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and may he reveal dimensions that will be important to nations. There is no prophet in the Bible who stood, if you read the whole of your Bible, who stood and was busy gathering people to prophesy. Every prophet in the Bible, they were governmental prophets. They advised kings. Oh God, yes. All prophets in the Bible, they controlled governments. We have prophets, what they are fighting for is not making sure that the kingdoms of this world are, have become the kingdom of our God. They are fighting to say, you took my name. That was the name of my church. You took my member. You took my style. You took the way I prophesy. And God is saying, what I want are nations in my hands. Yes. What I want are nations. There is something more. With the message that we preach, are we sure that a billionaire can sit the whole service and listen to what we are talking about? 
Are we sure that somebody who is an army general can sit the whole service, not sitting because of honoring you, but sitting because they are being touched by God? A generation where we talk about a God we don't know. A generation that gets into prayer. Out of just one hour when the stomach complains, they come out of prayer. But with people like Hannah, who could enter prayer because of a situation and said, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to drink. This matter has got to be solved. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? This generation, if God would take us back, some of us would not even be qualified to stand on the pulpit. Amen. Would not. And it's a pity that we have exalted titles over evidence. If you read in your Bible, when they would call an apostle, when they would call a prophet and say, our brother is dead, they would close him with the dead body in the room. We know your God, when you come out from here, that person will be alive. We know beyond any doubt. Close the door. See what to do with your God. There you see Elisha. Elisha with the Shunammite woman's son. Rakosamatika mahunaka python. Philos aparuzakaya. Ragagoma katalaka sua. Riakotana majakalaka paruahanai. Aruan kapoi. Aruan kapoi. Aruan. Generating a miracle. He slept on the child. The child became hot. He went back. He came back again. Generating a miracle. Recreating life. A dimension where men travel into the spirit, get things, resources in the spirit, come back and bring, give them to the earth. They were not resurrecting, they were recreating people. And there we are, celebrating about miracles that we cre miracles of problems we created. And God is asking himself, if Jesus tarries and the truth is revealed, most of us, we will beg to, for time to be reversed so that we can start this thing correctly. We will beg for time to be reversed so that we start this thing correctly. So that we start this thing correctly. Am I communicating to somebody here? <clears throat> I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah. This afternoon, I'm, I'm not talking to everybody. I'm not talking to everybody this afternoon like we did in the morning. I'm talking to people that have a yearning to really know Amen. why they got born again Amen. and why this kind of believing. Yes, you can't be compared to men like Samson. <clears throat> men who would take a, a jawbone, a jawbone of a donkey, Fighting men with swords of steel. Can't be compared with such men. We can't be compared with such men. Yet we fight with the demons. Five hours you are casting one demon. There were men. When Elijah would tell the king, rain will not come. The king knew trouble has come. But we have a generation of prophets who just wake up in the morning after, after eating pap and, 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 and sleeping with the slave queen and say, there is trouble that is coming to a nation and presidents will laugh. We know you. You are trying chances. Hey. We had men, a young prophet who went to King Josh and said, the, 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 the anger of God has come on this nation. And the Bible declares that while he was declaring, the king tried to point at him and the hand remained like this. And the king had to beg. Men like Moses who would do miracles whereby when they arrive, they are challenged by powers, challenged by, by sangomas, and they do miracles until Pharaoh says, you can go. You can go. Men like Elijah who would stand in a palace and say, I am prophesying. Not to you to say your name is Gladys. Your house number is 076. What, what? No, 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 no. I'm prophesying to an economy. 
Tomorrow, about this time, at the gate, there will be flower. And yet, we have people that, we have economies that are crumbling in nations that half of the nation are prophets. Half of the nation are prophets. And we look at ourselves. God is saying, what are you doing? When men like Paul would make impact in the spirit, and Paul would stand, and Bible says, Paul says, I ascended into the third heaven. He said, I met a man, whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I do not know. Paul entered the dimension where he no longer knew how to differentiate reality and the supernatural. I met a man, whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I don't know. Where angels become normal. Not when you pray, you are opening one eye in the dark. Maybe an angel appear. Where angels will become normal. They are ministering spirit to the air of salvation. One of the things that shocks me with this generation, in as much as you are the one with the promise that they are heirs of salvation, people in the Old Testament have seen more angels than people that call themselves the New Testament reality. Why? Because there is no reality. We, 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 are, we are still in the shadow. We proclaim we are now in the reality, but we are still in the shadow. If we're in the reality, we'll be seeing reality. You go to India, there are deep satanic people that they would put their hand inside a person's body, take out a fibroid, bring it out on their hand without an operation, without a mark left on the body. And there you are fasting for fibros to go for the next five years. Belittling the power of God. Why? Because we have no men that can tarry in the place of prayer. We have no men that can tarry in the place of prayer. We have no men. If they are to speak in tongues, it's because people are watching. And they will be shouting and they think that is prayer. Here there are men that can just stand and look at an object and an object moves. Why? Because they have consecrated themselves. How many declarations done and there is no manifestation? A generation. You, you see people fighting. Fighting about tithes. A generation. The whole pe being in church, you fight, you debate about tithe yourself. Tithe is older than you. Fight about giving. Yet people in the dark kingdom are sacrificing their sons, their mothers, their fathers. And you take somebody who sacrificed their mother, you bring them in church. He sees you fighting to give a thousand rand. You, 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 you do as if you are persecuted to give a, a five thousand rand. Somebody says, I give my mother. What am I doing here? I sacrificed my son. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? And we wonder why power is not real. We wonder why there is no power in our generation. Because what we call believing is utterly nonsense to say. It doesn't make sense. There's no sense in it. Amen. There's no sense in it. And God is calling a spirit of the real revival. Calling back people to the place of their origi originality. Where, where the spiritual becomes a reality. Where the spiritual becomes a reality. Where miracles are not to be celebrated, but they are just a confirmation of what God said. Amen. Now we now put miracles at adverts. The man who opens the eyes of the blind. Hear me. Jesus would have been more famous than you. Because he would open the eyes of the blind and he would tell people to tell them, tell no one. Tell no one. After opening the eyes of the blind. Miracles without love. The annexed expectation of the creation is the manifestation of the sons of God. In that same scripture, the Bible says, for those that walk and seek things of the spirit, not things of the flesh. Carnal people full of beef. Being in a place where they are talking about spirituality. Carnal people talking about spirituality. 
where if people are not gathered, they can't pray. Yet there are men like Jesus. The Bible says he, he did 40 days and nights and the devil came to tempt him. After being tempted, he remained in prayer. Zon atum, takai, And the Bible says, and angels came to comfort him. Moses entered the dimension where angels would come to have conversations with him. Moses, a dimension where he is seated in his house and angels are also sitting there talking. Enoch walked with God and God took him and he was no more. Why did God take him? It was, the spirituality was now normal. He did not have to die. He just walked into heaven. Just like that. Enoch was now interacting with angels. We are, in, we, are in a, we are in a time where we are talking about the Holy Spirit. Are we talking about the same spirit? Or what Paul says that maybe you received another spirit? Such a generation we can believe that this is not the Holy Spirit. Are you telling me that it is the same Holy Spirit who would come while his Paul was a murderer? It needed one encounter and Paul a murderer, Paul a, a rapist would turn from that day. And after the day of encounter, the Bible says Paul went to the, Paul fasted three days and met Ananias after fasting three days and nights. A man who did not know God. One encounter, he went into three days and nights fasting. We have people that have, that have been in church for more than 20 years. They do not know even how to fast a day. 10 o'clock, they are already fainting. What are you hungry for? What are you hungry for? There is something more. There is something more. There is something more. After three days and nights, the Bible says he went to the mountains of Arabia for three years, studying the way, interacting with angels. When he came back with the revelations, even those that walked with Jesus were surprised. What are you talking about? It is not a dimension that comes because you, 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 have, been, you have been reading the Bible. No, sir, an encounter. Where they wonder, what kind of a woman is this? You leave them in a desert. You see her holding a bottle of Coca-Cola. I say, what is this? They understand how to interact with the spirits. They understand how to work in the ways of God, not the works of God. They understand. They understand that even if we are facing the Red Sea, this sea will part. Amen. It's either it will part or it will disappear because we have to be on the other side. You have a generation that will allow churches to be closed. Why? Because those that are standing and those that are fathers and those that seem to be respectable, what they only know is to stand and call for an offering, but they know nothing about authority and power. Sons of Skeva. Sons of Skeva. Defeated. That is why to speak about immorality in this generation, they will turn you down. They will try to look at a mistake to keep you quiet. Why? Because they are struggling from the same things. A generation. Do you know that pastors buy newspapers to be advertised? A man of God who is doing miracles in a place in a place in a place of South Africa. They, 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 they buy TV stations to be advertised. Yet in the times of Jesus, they would come to interview him them, themselves. He was not going to their studios to advertise himself. Pharisees would leave the temple to come to where he is. Power. Nicodemus would leave the temple to go to where Jesus was. And we are talking about the Bible. It seems as if the Bible we are talking about is a different Bible. Jesus came to a place where they were asking him for text. And Jesus looked at them. And he said to Peter, go and take money in the mouth of a fish. It was not a miracle that happened. He created it. The creative miracle. He speaks things that are not as though they are and they become. Amen. How many declarations have you, have you been given and you're asking yourself, what is this mouth that is bringing declarations? Because it does not have authority. 
Why? Because we have men that talk about a God they are not hungry for. It is a show. It's a TV theater. Pulpits and altars have become stages where people perform. It's not God who's speaking. With the, it is good. It, it is good to come to a place where we put excellence and we are putting the, 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 the strings while the preacher is preaching. <laughs> it, it is good. We, we put the strings. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, my God. I feel it. Can you feel it? How, how, how? Look at your neighbor. But after looking at your neighbor, you are going back home. There are demons from your father's house that are waiting for you there. There is a hunger that has to rise. God, that power, that anointing that rested on Deborah, that she was a woman, but she came to a place where she became a prophetess of a nation. God, I am hungry for more. God, I am hungry for more. God, I am hungry for more. Am I communicating to somebody here? Yes, I am hungry for more. I am hungry for more. God is waiting for that generation of people like Zachariah who said, God, we have heard about you, but revive your works in my days. I am hungry for more. I want to manifest. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the signs. The world is waiting, and you are in the world. And you are the one who's waiting. And you can boldly speak in church. Wait for your testimony. I'm waiting for a breakthrough. The world is waiting for you. And you are the one who's not waiting for the world. I'm waiting for my marriage. I'm waiting for my breakthrough. I'm waiting for my miracle. But the world is waiting. Why? Because we have a generation that do not know to become a son. It means you have delegated authority. When you are walking, Jesus is walking. When you are speaking, Jesus is speaking. Why? Because he is in the inside of you. Jesus declared. He said, if you abide in my word, and my word abide in you, I and my father will come and abide in you. He did not say if you do miracles, if you abide in my word, in my word abide in you. When you eat more of the word, you'll be eating more of Jesus. The carbohydrates, the vitamins, the proteins, you will see yourself becoming muscular. You see your fibers beginning to expand, your capacity beginning to expand. But why do we have a generation that seems like the church is spiritual kwashioka? Because we do not know the duty and why we are here as the church. Why we are here is the church. I remember a testimony. Um, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring one of my sons. We, we had a car that we were given. And while we're driving that car, suddenly the oil went out. And we were not home. We were supposed to be home for a service. And because I did not know what was happening, I started doing the key. And it was not allowing. So Jimmy was doing. Jimmy was doing. Ka -hi -hi. Ah, the car was laughing at him. Ka -hi -hi -hi. Ka -hi -ka -hi. The car was laughing at him. And I said to him, we are going home. We were around six people. I turned on the key. The car moved. We parked it. And I heard after that, that if car, a car has spilled oil, it does not move. I remember God doing a miracle, miracles that I don't understand. Man is being found in jackets. Yeah, when God starts doing miracles, you can't explain it. And the funny thing, you won't be surprised. There is a place you begin to operate in God that you are not amused. That is why you never, you never, you never see us advertising prophecies. Not that we can't. You know we can. But that is not the goal. 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 Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We are seeing a generation that is perishing. We are seeing a people that are saying that they are intercessors. Yet they are struggling from lust. What kind of the presence of God that you are entering that is not killing the lust? 
What kind of a presence of God that you are entering that is not killing the greed? That is not killing the hatred and competition? My spiritual mentor would say, you cannot enter into water and come back dry. You can't enter into the praise. We will know. But what we are seeing now of people doing reckless living and they talk about grace, divination has entered into the church. God is calling the church back to a place. I want my sons for the world is waiting. I want my sons for the world is waiting. There is no way you can be a believer and be strong, a child of God. We are getting into a place where you are going to see God beginning to transform you. There are miracles that you are going to be doing that have nothing to do with your prayer, that have nothing to do with your fasting. But it is because the Bible says it is of him who, 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 who is able to, to, to make men to will and to do. The Bible says, I will give grace in whom I want. I will give mercy to whom I want. The breakthroughs and the miracles that God is going to be doing are not because because there is something you have done, it will be by the grace of God, and that you are accredited, and that it belongs to you. Amen. You are moving in a place where you are going to see the anointing of God like never before. But the question is, are you ready? The question is, are you ready? The question is, are you ready? Are you ready? A place where you can deny the title. Imagine if Philip as a deacon would come and stand and look at the people that are calling themselves apostles and pastors. And he would say, I disappeared. Spoke to an Ethiopian eunuch. I didn't do a crusade, no. I disappeared for one man. He was in church, he disappeared. He saw himself in, 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 a, in, a, in a valley, met the Ethiopian eunuch, opened scriptures. Preach to the Ethiopian eunuch. The Bible says when he baptized the Ethiopian eunuch, he disappeared. Never did we hear it being publicized or being spoken. It was a story that they were narrating. It's not someone who preached it. It is us now who are preaching it. Even Philip, from that day, we never heard that he became famous by telling people. That I appeared and disappeared. That I appeared and disappeared. Men like Elijah who are healing leprosy. And yet we are in a generation of people without authority. Give me back a generation and give me back the hunger that brings me back to the place of prayer. Give me back the hunger that brings me back to the place of hunger where I say, God, I surrender myself. All I need is your power. God, I surrender myself. I need your anointing. God, I surrender myself. Use me to change my generation. Use me to change my lineage. Use me to change my, 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 my this dispensation. Because if you don't, the next generation is in trouble. If you don't, your grandchildren are in trouble. If you don't, Amen. Cornelius gave and prayed that an angel came and said, your prayers have reached heaven. He did not stop. Men like, men like Solomon who gave sacrifice that it is God who came with a prayer request and said, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do? I, I, I don't preach the gospel of saying, give and show I have this. No! What is your hunger? What is your hunger? When you have a hunger, nothing is... Listen to me. Listen to me. How you want a dimension shows you how much you value it. There is nothing that is expensive for your next level. There is nothing. Nothing is too expensive for your next level. Child of God, I'm believing God for a time in the season where people that people think that they are stranded where places where people think that certain people are tied you see yourself being put in another place there are people that you look at your life it seems like there is no way out you see that Lord lift you up the Bible says he lifted the poor from the deep muddy clay he sets them upon the king's highway the same David who was in the bushes he was playing the harp the same David who was in the bushes that he was busy worshipping the same David 
David, who was in the bushes, making up his cues so that he can write Psalms 1 to Psalms 150, prayers and prophetic words put in one book. That man, he was busy developing himself. While his brothers were busy in the battle, they could not win. The man was there. The Lord is my shield and my banner. In whom shall I fear? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures. He was there in the palace. He who abides under the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say, the Lord is my refuge. I shall not be moved. The same David. You see him one day after the anointing came upon him. He came from the bush to the palace. He would use a harp to cast out a demon without a mic, without words spoken, without intercession. Just by playing an instrument, a demon would come out. The same David, where people are using weapons, he takes a sling with just a small rock. He would blast down a Goliath. Hear me! Who told you that your business needs a sword, a small stone? As, as long as God is involved, certain things that believers do, you can see God is not there. Amen. You can sell stones and become a millionaire if God is involved. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. There is a way God can provide for you. Where is the God of Elijah? That at a time where the Bible declares... At a time where the Bible declares, at a, at a time where the Bible declares that there was a drought, Elijah would go to the brook being sent by God. There is a drought, but there is still a brook that is water. And there is a raven bringing meat. Where is the meat coming from? Where is the meat coming from? Men who understood how to operate. The children of Israel are in the desert. But while they are in the desert, where there is no economy, where there is no agriculture, for 40 years without an economy, without agriculture, for 40 years without factories for clothes, clothes were growing, shoes were growing. The Bible says God would send fish. They would just wake up in the morning. There is fish at the door. They would wake up in the morning. There is manna in the door. Why? It's a generation that knows how to attract that dimension into the physical. And some will try to debate, hear me. That dimension ceased when Moses departed. Go read your Bible. Because while he was there, he was not just a person. He was the atmosphere. There are people that, there is a man called Maurice Arulo, the late. May God uh, rest in, make him to rest in peace. He would enter a city. And demons would be coming out in buses. Demons would be coming out when a, preacher, when a preacher is standing on the altar. Demons are coming out. And when they are coming out, they are saying, why are you here? Not to the preacher. To someone who's preaching miles in a stadium. They are manifesting, saying they are being bent by a fire of someone who's miles away in somebody's, in somebody's ministry. And the pastor cannot say, come out, because it's not speaking his name. It's not saying you are the one burning me. Power, where you enter territories. And when you enter territories, you change the atmosphere. Change the atmosphere. You change the atmosphere. Men who create miracles where they want to see miracles. Men who control governments. Imagine, imagine we are living in lands where politicians do what they want. That is not how, how God created it to be. We are going to pray. Amen. We are going to pray. Amen. As you stand up on your feet, we are going to pray. Father, revive and put in me a hunger. Revive and put in me a hunger. You, you did not just get born again just for you to just be a believer. You got born again because there is something uncommon and something unusual that God wants to do. I want us to come to a place where we are going to pray today. I want us to come to a place where you are going to pray from the depth of your spirit. The Bible says, ask, listen to me. There's a scripture in the book of Jeremiah 33. The Bible says, ask of me 
and I'll give you nations as an inheritance. The Bible didn't say ask for a car. No, I'm giving nations. Yet you are crying for a car. Mm. I'll give you nations. You are crying for a house. I'll give you nations. You are crying for a village. You are crying for a job. You are limiting God. In as much as God wants to operate, he's being limited by the mindset of the church of now. Jesus did not do many miracles in Nazareth because of their unbelief. There are certain dimensions that God stops because he's afraid to confuse you. There are certain things if God starts to do, you become a hidden. You become, because there are dimensions that are scary if God starts operating. God starts operating. Dimensions of Peter that the, Bab, the, that the Bible declares, that the Bible declares that Peter is busy uh, coming out of prayer. While Peter is busy coming out of prayer, the Bible declares as Peter is coming out of prayer, he arrives while he's at the balcony. While Peter is at the balcony, the Bible declares that suddenly he has an out-of-body experience. He's coming out of the balcony. They are preparing food, and suddenly he's no longer among them. I believe they are looking at him, but they are wondering, who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Visions are being spoken that never come to manifestation. Prophecies is being released. My question is, where are these things coming from? Where are these things coming from? People come to church with headache. They go back with malaria. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. My God, I want you to pray. I believe beyond any doubt. I believe beyond any doubt that there is going to be a change that is going to happen in your life. Amen. I believe beyond any doubt that, that God is going to come to a place where that situation that men thought it is impossible God himself is going to be the one who's going to transform that situation. Amen. Child of God, I believe in the power of prayer. I've seen its results. Amen. You are not going to speak many words, but I want you to speak to your father. Amen. You are not going to be praying, speaking to a God. I want you to speak to your father. Amen. The earnest expectation of the creation is the manifestation of not believers, of sons. Your father, sons, your father. You are going back to your father. You are saying, as a son, I have to manifest. We are praying for things that we, 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 we were freely given. We are not supposed to be praying for them. Amen. God is looking at us. He's saying, are, are we sure? Are we really sure? Are we really sure? I want us to pray for the next, for the next three minutes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Say, my father and my maker. My and my as I begin to pray. As I begin to pray, revive me, revive me to the dimensions that we were created from. Revive me to the glory realm where I operate in glory and I live in glory. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Lift up your voice, clap your hands and begin to pray. Ilando Kopai, Ilando Kopai, Ida Dada Yotokaba, Ida Dada Kotoyaba, Ida Dada Kotoya 
Rakayaba, a Rakayakada, a Rakayakada, a Rakayakada, Ilakadakaya, Ilakadakaya, a Rakadakayata, a Rakadakayata, Idakayakada, Ada Rakadakaya, Idakayata, Iparadakayata, 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 a Rekedakaya, Ada Lakayakaya, Ada Lakadakaya, Ada Lakayakaya, Ada Lakayakada, Ibara, 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 Atakayakada, Yakakada. Italanta, Adalatayanda, Ataladayanta, Idakaya, Adadayata, 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 Iparadataya, Atantoya, 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 Aprecatoa, Eleketaya Katea, Arande Katembalata, Irande Dea, Ratunka Balatoa, Irende Kapalada Dakatea, Atande kai, atande kai, where to nama sando koya, ibrande katende lataya, praka tumba da kate, swabadaya, arande katala matea, pratosa, ibratosa, ibratosa, ibratosa. Ayetoa, Ayetoa, may they be reviving, may they be reviving, may they be reviving, may they be reviving, Atoko Bonshai, Akonmai, 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 Ikoama, Ikoama, Atuamba Bayakato, Elatoai, Elatoai, Igankoa, 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 Akuka Bayakatoa, Akomade, 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 Komade, ibuaba shakwa, ibuaba shakwa, gapawe ya, irade katawe ya, adakala matakele, guapande ke, ilakatonde de, ilakatonde de, agua kataya, agua kataya, agua kataya, ireke doko la bada katua, brakoto, ibrakoto, 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 akobada. Katoa mana, brande katewa mana kate anana, atande kete, atande kete, atande kete, iranda da 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 Radada, 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 idando do 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 akatai, radada da da, radada da da, ibonda de, radada, ibonda de, aruada ba, akubando kwe, rekedu mana katia, akwaya, 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 akobada da tia, rakoa, 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 akuda, rad. In Jesus' name, wherever you are listening or watching from, may the Lord restore the fire. May the Lord bring you to a place where you understand your calling. May the Lord begin to give you authority beyond the outer. Hear me. May the Lord give you authority beyond the pulpit. Nations have got to know Christ. Out of your hands, signs, miracles, and wonders shall be seen manifesting. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree divine provision over your life, your bank account, your ministry, your health. I speak divine provision. The Bible declares, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in the heavenly glory, in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Divine provision. Amen. Oh God, we thank you. We bless your name because you are God. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. May you come to a place where we are going to see your mighty anointing, your mighty power being seen and being revealed forevermore. In the name that is above every other name. Thank you, mighty God, because I know beyond any doubt that there are nations, people that are going to be transformed as we speak now. I thank you, mighty God, in the name and the blood of Jesus. There are people you are bringing out of families like Joseph, and they are going to become the case breakers of their family. Lord, I pray that giftings are going to be maximized. Potentials are going to be utilized in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that those in the mouth of nations is opening up and believers are beginning to have 
infect. Lord, I thank you. A generation is rising up. In the name and the blood of Jesus, you are going to increase us a thousand times more. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus, you are going to bless us a thousand times more. The anointing is going to increase a thousand times more. Bank accounts are increasing a thousand times more. Your health level is increasing a thousand times more. Your visions are increasing a thousand times more. Your dreams are increasing a thousand times more. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, your spirit is bubbling out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. That marriage is about to be broken loose. I decree there is an overflow. Revival shall come from your mouth. The Bible declares, open up your mouth and I will fill you. I decree authority is being filled in your mouth. Nations are about to bow. The Bible declares unto him, he gave him a name that is above every other name. Unto the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I decree in the name of Jesus, nations are bowing. We are taking over nations. I decree in the name of Jesus. We are taking over nations. What the enemy had stolen, we are taking it back. The Bible says, I will restore what the canker has eaten. The anointing is being restored into our generations. We are about to see mothers that are filled with the anointing. We are about to see mothers who operate in the prophetic. We are about to see fathers who operate in the apostolic. The Bible declares that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy where are the sons and daughters that can see calamities before they come where are the sons and daughters political prophets economical prophets marital prophets I decree a generation is rising a thousand times more a generation is rising a generation is rising in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus may the anointing now I drop the mantles of the spirit Upon everybody under the sound of my voice, may the mantles of the spirit be dropped over their heads. I drop the mantles of the spirit. 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 The mantle of Elijah, the mantle of Jeremiah, the mantle of Isaiah, the mantle of Habakkuk, the mantle of Anahum, the mantle of Poor. It is dropping upon us. 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 Father! Oh God, I see there are scrolls that are being released. There are scrolls that are being released. I'm seeing people being handed scrolls in the spirit. There is a fire that is about to be ignited. The Lord is saying this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. It shall be a center of revival. Fire shall be ignited. Ministers shall be raised. There shall be messages that shall ignite nations. Nations shall be restored to the place of prayer. The Lord is saying out of your mouths I see lions being closed out of your mouth I see fires being quenched out of your mouth I see finances being released in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare wherever you are standing now by the power of the Holy Ghost from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet may you be filled by the spirit the same spirit that came upon upon Samson he killed a thousand men the same spirit that came upon Elizabeth she prophesied Side, that same spirit that came upon Moses, he became a prophet. That same spirit that came upon Peter, he became bold. That same spirit that came upon Joshua, he became a warrior. That same spirit that came upon Gideon, he became a mighty man. That same spirit that came upon Abraham, he became a father of nations. That same spirit that came upon Adam, he became a father of nations. That same spirit that came upon Noah, he became favored. He had the vision of creating businesses and the vision of inventions. The same spirit that came upon Moses, he became from being shy to becoming a prophet. The same spirit that came upon David, he became a king and a priest. The same spirit that met Samuel in the, in the temple, he became a prophet to nations. I decree it is coming upon 
you. It is coming upon you. It is coming upon you. It is coming upon you. It is coming upon you. It is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Kole madabara shala maradadada hua patai. Abrande katoa mazoe pachaka mazua paradakaya. Lord, you are God. We believe because there is something we see that the world has not seen. We believe because there is something we perceive that the world has not yet perceived. In the name and the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you are God. I pray for you wherever you are listening from, whether you have been a believer. You are in the service or you are online. You have been a believer. You have been a minister. And you feel that there is something more. I pray for you that may the Lord refill you. And may the Lord open you up Amen. to your authority. Amen. Isaiah says, arise, O daughter of Zion. Shake yourself from dust. Wear your robes of royalty. Amen. For your light has come. Amen. That dust of religion you've been settling in, you need to come out of it. You are entering a dimension where Jesus told Peter to go and take money in a fish. There are certain ideas that will be crazy, but they will make it to survive. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. The Lord is bringing you to a place where the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter number 12. The Bible says, Do, let your brotherly love continue for some entertained angels without knowing. There shall be angels that shall come in human form. You shall experience them, you shall encounter them, and you shall see them. I decree and I declare, and so shall it be over your life and destiny in the name of Jesus.